Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. I am the law director. Hope everybody must have, you must have been familiar with this uh, law books. We will study today how to read the law books. Basically, with the law director, we got four formulas. This is this is your four formula. That is the law of n into n becomes your law of m plus the law of n. The next one goes as the law of n upon n becomes your law of m minus the law of n. Then your law of a raised to m becomes your m log a. These three formulas will be applicable when we are doing the calculation part. And there is one more formula that is you can say that a raised to log of x to the base a. This is x. Now when you are doing with logarithm, you need to understand how to read this log book. So I will be writing some numbers. If you have got textbooks, the log books with you. You can pause the video for some time, get your log books, and we will do the log of the big table, reading the log of the big table together. Suppose this is what we get the number like if it is 23.46. What is the log of 23.46? What is the log of 2.346? The same numbers I am writing. What is the log of 2.346? What is the log of 234.6 what is the log of 0.2346 let me see all of your numbers are same 2346 2346234623462346 are the same numbers so when you are writing log the very first thing you need to understand the characteristics and the mentisa mentisa is in this log book what we need to do is find out the characteristics now what is the characteristic of this if you check how it has a decimal over here before decimal, there are two terms. So the characteristic of this is one under your two the point over here. For this one, the decimal is over here. Before this, you get a one digit. So the, that is one minus one. So that is zero is your characteristic. Over here, there are no decimals. So there are totally four terms. Four minus one. So the characteristic is three. Over here again, before the decimal, there are three terms. One, two, three, three minus one is two. So the characteristic is two. Over here, we check with decimal there is one zero. So the characteristic over here will be bar one. It will be bar one. Similarly, if I go one more question, that is zero point zero two three four six. So what will be the characteristic over here? It has got two zeros. One over here, one over here. So the characteristic will be bar two. But suppose if I take one more question, this is a log of seven. What the characteristic for log of seven? That's only one term. So the characteristic will be zero. Now we need to write the mentisa. For mentisa, we need to refer your log. Now the decimal term is the decimal. What you are written with the decimal? It's so we write the characteristics. Now don't consider the decimal. See the first two terms. What are the first two terms? Is twenty three. After that it is four. After that it is six. Go in your log book. Log book on your first page. If you check, there's a log arithmetic. You need to go with the log arithmetic. If you check with the log arithmetic, if you check on the left side of the page, you can see it starts with ten, eleven, twelve, and the last number is ninety-nine. If you check, then it starts with zero, one, two, three, up to nine, and then they are written over here the mean difference. And check the mean difference starts with one, two, three, four, up to nine. This is how your log book looks like. This is 10 to 12, 11, 11 to 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. This is 0 to 9. This is 1 to 9. Now, if you check, this is 23. You need to check this is 23 over here. 23. We say this is 23 in 4 difference of 6. So 23 in 4. So you need to check a number that is 23 in 4 difference of 6. You need to check a number over here. If you go with your log book and check. 23 in 4. If you check 23 in 4, that is 3692. So this is 3692. And the difference of 6, if you see 23 in 6, the difference is 11. Now normally what happens? So 23 in 4 that is what sum that is 1, 2, 3, 4. It is not 1, 2, 3, 4. Keep in mind it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And over it is 1, 2, 3, 4. This is 3692 and 11. We need to add 3692 plus 11. So this is 3, 0, carry 1, 7, 3. You get 3, 7, 0, 3. So this is 3, 7, 0, 3. And this is how you do with log. For this also the same thing. 
the characteristic was zero because you are only part of again you will check out 23 in four difference of six which we already have three seven zero three or you also see it four times so you know the characteristics as three 23 in four difference of six that is three seven zero three you also see before decimal three times are so the characteristic is two so 23 in four difference of six that is three seven zero three over here also the same before the decimal is one zero so the characteristics is part of then you can put 23 in 4 difference of 6 that is 23 in 4 difference of 6 over here also the same thing if you check two zeros as I said it starts with 10 so the first two numbers will be 23 in 4 difference of 6 so this is 3 7 0 3 this is also again 3 7 0 3 now over here with 7 what is the characteristic of 7? That is 0. Now what is the matrix? As I said, it starts with 10. When we say 7, so you have to check this is 70 in 0 without a difference because 70 in 0 with a difference of 0. The difference starts with 1. You have to check 70 in 0. And if you check in your note uh, log book, 70 in 0, that is 70 in 0 will be 8451. So this one will be 8451. So you need to write this as 8451. So this is how you need to read log. Again, I repeat, you need to first is all what is written in red is that characteristics. Characteristics are with the decimal. Before the decimal, two terms, so two minus one, so the characteristic is one. Over here, before decimal, one term, one minus one, so the characteristic is zero. Four terms of the characteristic is three. Three terms of the characteristic is two. Over here, one zero is there, so bar one. Over here, two zeros are there, so bar two. Over here, only one term is there, so the characteristic is zero. Now, after the log, we need to do the next one. The next page is anti log. We will find out the anti log. Okay. Now, we will do with anti log. We finish with the log. Now, the next page you can turn, you can see. But the next page is written over the anti log in terms. Now for NP log n terms, this is what your questions are the same, which uh, we had written log, we have got the answer, now we will find out the NP log of it. When you go with NP log, what we need to consider is after the decimal, what are the terms? So after the decimal, it is 3703. If you check with NP log, it starts with 0 .00, 0 0.00.01 up to 0 0.99. And the same thing with OL, this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 9. With the mean the difference, if you check with the mean difference, that is 1 to 9. With the same mean difference, that is 1 to 9. Now, when you are checking for NP log, you have to check the first two numbers, that is 0.37 in 0 difference of 3. So, you need something over here, it will be 0.37 in 0. This is what I can say in 0 with difference of 3. You need to go with difference of 3. Check in your log book. The entry log part, the second page, the entry log part, that is 0.37 in 0, it is 2744, four. it is 2744, four. and the difference is 3, if you check the difference of 3, it is 2, so we get over here, that is if you add 2744 four plus 2, that is 2746, so you need to write this is over 2746. Now you have to see the red operator of this one point. So this is 1. So you have to add 1 to it. So 1 plus 1 will be 2. So your answer is 27.46. This is your NP log. Again, if you go with this, again you have to check. You are going with NP log. You have to check 0.37 is 0 difference of 3. Same. 0.37 is 0 difference of 3 was 2746. You got 0 over here, you have to add a 1 to 0. So 0 plus 1 is 1. So the decimal will be after 1 digit. Again, if you check with this again, 37 in 0 difference of 3, that is 2746. 37 in 0 difference of 3, say 2746, it is 3. So the decimal will be 3 plus 1, 4. After 4 digit, 1, 2, 3, 4. If you put it's okay, otherwise if you keep it as it is 2746, that also it is the same. Again for this one, that is 37 in 0 difference of 3, that is 2746. Now you got 2 over here, so you have to add 1, it will be 3. So the decimal will be after 1, 2, 3 digit, it is 274.6. If you check again the same 37 in 0 difference of 3, 
37 and 0 difference of 3 again the same numbers will come that is 2, 7, 4, 6 now you have to draw 1 over here so you have to put 1, 0 over here and put a decimal that is 0 0.2746 over here also 3, 7, 0, 3 again the same that is 2, 7, 4, 6 but you got now bar 2 so you have to put 2 zeros over here and after the first 0 you get put a decimal for this empty logo, this is a different number, 0.84 is 5, difference of 1, you can check on your own also, 0.84 in 5, difference of 1, I get 0.84 in 5, 0.84 in 5, check it is 6998, it is 6998, that is 0.84 in 5, you are checking in 5, with the difference of 1, so the difference of 1 is 2. So you have to add this is 6998 plus 2. That is 0 carried by 0 and 7. And you get over that is 7, 0, 0, 0. You got 0, so the decimal will be after one digit. So this is what you get. So this is your anti log. If you remember, when we are doing log, the log of 7 was 8451, 0.8451, and its anti log is 7. But the anti log and log are ulta sulta of each other. So this is anti log. Now we will do calculations. Using your log book, we will do calculation. I have done three questions. Examples were 23 by 46 into 5 by 1, 2, 23 by 46 into 5 by 1, 2, 3 by 1, 2, 3 by 1, 2, 3 Now if you write over this is 23.46 plus 5.12, do this sum by using log. Or 23.46 minus 5.12, do this sum using log. Keep in mind that you cannot do this or this sum with log because addition and subtraction is very easy. So, addition for addition and subtraction, log is not used. Log is used for multiplication, division, and the exponential terms. We do not use log for addition and subtraction. Now, we will do this three simple calculations using log. If you find more calculations to be done, Please write in your comments what calculations, which examples you need to do. I will try to do it in the next video. Now, if you check over here, this is 23 but 46 into 5 point 1 to get your log books handy so that you can also check out with your logs with me. So, we will assume that is that x is equal to your question. We take log on both the sides, so this one will be log of x is equal to log of 23.46 into 5.1. Now you open this log, then it will be log of 23.46. Multiplication becomes plus log of 5.12. Now the same what I taught you how to go with characteristics and mentism. If you check, this is decimal, there are two terms, so the characteristic will be 1. Now you have to check 23 in 4 with a difference of 6 using your log book. If you see 23 in 4 with your log book, 23 in 4 is 3692 is 3692 with the difference of 6 with the difference of 6 is 11 so if you add this is 3 this is 0 this is 7 you get 37703 now over here decimal is over here before decimal only one term is there so the characteristics becomes 0 while you check out for log it is 51 in 2 that's all 51 in 2 and 51 in 2, what do you got? 51 in 2 is 7093. So, this is only the place where you figure log. Then you need to do your normal addition. The normal addition is 1.3703 plus 0 0.7093. This is 69710 carried by that is 2. Point. So, you get over here that becomes 2.0796. This is a log of x. Log goes on the other side, it becomes anti log. So we say this is anti log of 2.0796. Now, what we will do again, you go with your log books with the second bit and you check with your anti log. It is anti log the same. Decimal keep it as it is, check this 079, difference of 6, 0 0.07 in 9. 0 0.07 in 9 is 1199 that is 1199 that is 0 0.07 in 9 
But the difference of six, uh, the difference of six is two. So you get nine and eleven carried one. This is ten. This is two. This is one. So you get over. This is one, two, zero, one. It is two. So the decimal will be after three digit. And this is the value of x. This is your logarithm. How to use your logarithm for multiplication? Now we use the logarithm for division. Same story starts over here. I have taken the same numbers so that we don't waste much of the time in looking with your logs. So this is we say that is that x is equal to your quotient. Taking a log of both the side, this becomes your log of twenty three point forty six upon five point one two. This becomes your log of twenty three point forty six minus this becomes your log of five point one two. Same. Now we have to go with your log. Actually, I have got log. Before this is the characteristic is one and check twenty three four difference of six twenty three four difference of six this is what we actually have got it this is three seven zero three minus oh yeah what comes is that zero you check fifty one into fifty one into you already written over here that is seven zero nine three so same thing what you need to do is do your normal subtraction it is one point three seven zero three Minus zero point seven zero nine three. What you get over here? Zero. This is six carried one. One six zero. And then seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen. You get this is six. So what you get over here is zero point six six one zero. This is log x. Log goes on the other side. X is equal to we say anti log of. 0.6610. Then again, you have to go with your books. You need to check what is 0.66 in one. Difference of zero. There is no difference of zero. So you need to check only 0.66 in one. And if you check 0.66 in one, check properly. It is 4581. It is 4581. This is 4581. It is zero. So you put decimal after one digit. So this is what you get. If we go with the last part, that is 23.46 the whole square. Again the same. That is let x is equal to your quotient. Now we say taking log on both the side. Log of x is equal to log of 23.46. The right formula this comes over here. This becomes your two log of 23.46. Same is two as it is. What you get the characteristic over here? The characteristic the same. Two three we have already done. Three seven zero three. Do your normal multiplication. This is your log of x is equal to two three is a six zero two seven is a fourteen carried one two three is a six and one seven two one is a two. So x is equal to those on the other side and becomes your empty log of two seven two point seven four zero six. Now your empty log log take your empty log and check point seventy four is zero difference of six. Point seventy four is zero. Is if you check, that is five four nine five. Point seventy four is zero is five four nine five. With a difference of six, with a difference of six is eight. So you need to add over here. This becomes your thirteen divided by ten. This is five. This is five. So this becomes your five five zero three. Why it is two? So you put decimal after three digit. So x is equal to five five zero point three. So this is how to use your log. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed, please subscribe to my channel and give likes. Thank you.